this goes right on top of there there's a panel right here unscrew those and you can get right to this cord right here and it just this is the other cord that they gave you for the adapter I just poked it through because I am not running the cord on the roof I am going to run the cord into the camper down this channel where there's some wires here beside the fridge and down into the underbelly of the camper I will then run it across some hangers all the way to the front of the camper and then up into the basement or storage area of the front of the White Hawk. Now, normally you would run this right up here and onto the roof and then across the top and you'd probably be done in a half hour. Okay, back in the camper. Uh, this is the rear of the camper here and this is where the microwave normally goes. I pulled the microwave out because that camera hole, let's get some light up in there, that camera hole is right there. So this piece here is what you saw coming out the back. Let me get some better light here. There we go. Yeah, this this piece, this this is the adapter they give you to plug into the Furion camera. That other end that looks like a speaker jack, that is what came through. And all I had to do was drill this hole right here. This then attaches to the camera. This is for power. And then there, there's another cable I will run from the camera through this hole, which will attach to this. Then it will come down to this, and this line is what attaches to that 31-foot line that I will then run through a hole here into this empty space in between the refrigerator and the microwave. And I can run that all the way down into the underbelly of the camper. There it is, right there. Woo, you gotta watch out. We have a refrigerator on, that's hot. And I am not going to run this cable near the refrigerator. It's going to be clear back in the corner, which is over three to four inches away. So I'm gonna pull a little slack down. There we go. So all I have to do now is get it through this flooring and down into where the furnace is. If I have to, I will drill a hole right there and it'll just drop down there's a lot of space behind the furnace okay drilled myself a little 5 8 inch hole here from the floor of the refrigerator down into the furnace cavity and I'm just gonna shove this down through okay so you're all familiar with the uh, Furion cap that goes up here and it kind of sticks out at an angle um, this rubber boot is what's behind it and there is a small hole with that little cable I showed you earlier that you plug in for power for the camera. You take that plastic stuff off, just ditch it. Unless you have a camera that somehow mounts to that. I couldn't figure out a way to, for it to mount to it, so it's gone. I ran the power, which is just plug and play. And I ran, ran the data cable that goes to the transmitter into the trailer. That way I have no wires up here whatsoever and then I took some silicone behind here and across the top all right so that's the outside no wires looks nice you can move it it's very stiff which is good because you don't want it bouncing around and changing angles so for the underbelly I just pulled it out right here dropped it down just so I had a corner and then way over there I have an access panel for the motor for the slide. I pulled that access panel down and then I fed that cable across the underbelly. This is where the cable came out right here. Still got to trim these off. But that cable comes out right here from the underbelly. Zip tied it twice here and then it goes up through these convenient holes I have and all of the uh, braces that come out. I did use uh, zip ties and a few of the Magic Mount wire ties that Halo View shipped with the package. I hope they stick. I wiped the frame off really good and then stuck them to the frame. Okay, if you can see this wire right here, 
that runs all the way down to where the steps are and then into the underbelly where that access panel is about right there and then it is these are the magic mounts that halo view ships and they actually do hold pretty well they lock that wire in but i don't know if they'll stick well to the frame um and then i have these openings in between here i zip tied there same thing for the front step and then I'm going to mount that transmitter right here. I just drilled this hole in this access panel. This panel is not really an access panel. It just has the switch for the lights out front and then an outlet. There's a bunch of dead space behind it. So I pulled that panel off. Let's see if I can move it out. Yeah, and you can see there's a bundle that comes up through the floor. So I did the same thing here. I just came down from this bracket. I hope that'll be okay. Maybe I'll put this in some type of that uh, automotive, uh, you know, you put the wire in the, uh, whatever. Maybe I'll put this inside something. But then it goes up under the underbelly and comes up right here. This is the connection. You just screw it to the transmitter. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll mount this just like that. Put this wall back in clean up my mess. Connected these two fasteners from the other ends and I'm going to place the mirror up against, pull this over, and let it go. And it does have a groove there that it should clip up into. Same thing on the other side. Right up into that groove. And then you will have to adjust the mirror like this needs to go to my right quite a bit take off the plastic for the camera that's the front facing camera and take off the plastic on the front of the monitor slash mirror let's plug in some power USB on this end cigarette lighter on this end. And I will route this up and around so you don't see the cable. There's a power button right Big water drop. And uh, after about 20 minutes of driving here, it has cleared itself up. So I'm liking the uh, Halo View RD10 camera. Pretty cool. Because I didn't want another screen on my dash. That's why I like this.